All right, we've got the virtual walk around of the 93 Prowler fifth wheel. 33 feet long, give or take. I'll take you around the whole thing. All right, here we got water pump, brand new filter. All right, here's where your electrical goes. All right there's fill up your water tank on one of the levels. Coming around here on the slide, I believe the slide is 16 feet long. Got one storage compartment on it. This is actually the compartment right behind the couch. As you can see there's quite a quite a lot of space in there. That's a screen for one of the windows in the kitchen that fell out. Coming over here, you got your hookup for city water. If you're in a campground or something. This is the outside of your furnace. This door here has the valve for your black tank. And then also access to parts of the furnace and some of the ducting and stuff. That's your sewer hose storage. I don't have one of those, but if you buy one, it slides right in there. All right, here's your propane tanks. Got two 30-pound tanks. Just had them revalved and recertified. Oh, I believe it was summer last year. So they're good till certification runs out. Over here, find my keys. This is where the batteries are. These were brand new when I bought the camper. Deep Cycle, Duralast, 27DP-DLs, if you really want to know the model. All the locks on the outside work. Got a big storage compartment up here. big awning that works good I'm pretty sure that's uh, 26 foot and we got storage compartments all down the side great big deep compartments these would take you up underneath the bedroom Another split level compartment access to some pipes and such that's the drain for the bathroom sink and here's all your hand cranks a couple things for the slide and there's a manual backup for the slide out and parts like that. That's a table that folds out. There's actually speaker jacks in the back so you can plug into the camper speakers. Have a little outdoor party. Access panel for the water heater. This water heater is gas and electric. So if you plug that in, you use the electric. If you Boondocking it, you can use a gas.
I'm going to try to do that before it sells. Coming in here, this is the inside. You got a couch that folds out into a bed. Quite a good size living room here. Kitchen table, four chairs. Good size, there's enough room for people to sit on the back. Here's a pan around to the kitchen itself. Refrigerator was new when I bought it a couple, two, three years ago. Works good. Got the freezer up here. Uh, pop can dispenser. It's my favorite part of the whole ordeal. Come over here. This switch here controls either the water heater or the microwave. That way you don't have them both run at the same time. Microwave. Pretty small. Doesn't work as good as, you know, your home models, but it gets the job done. Got stove, four burner. Oven section's kind of small, but we've made it work with all sorts of... Oh, you can't see nothing, can you? But, works good. Cabinets under the sink. Plenty of storage down there. Cabinets overhead. Plenty of storage up here. Big tall cabinet for all your canned goods and food and such. Pull out drawer down there. I'll show you where it leaks. There's one leak up here in the back of the cabinet. You can't really tell because it's not raining, but somehow water infiltrates into here. I think it's the seam on the roof needs recaulking. And right here is the main leak. It comes in along these screws right up here on the top side of this slide out. Oh, and it just drips down here on the floor. And back over here. Got a cabinet above the stereo. AM FM cassette player. Nice little shelf. This would typically be where a TV would sit. When we had it, we had the TV sitting over here. This chair was over where the table was and the table was slid down. Uh, big cabinet up here. Plenty of storage for like movies or whatever. Shelf on top. Alright, coming into the bathroom. Skylight. Sink. Lots of storage underneath. Nice big cabinets. Medicine chest. More storage, 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 storage. Oh, my glasses, I almost forgot that. Got the toilet over here. It's broke. Uh, the water runs in it constantly. The valve's busted. That would need to be replaced. Got storage here behind the toilet. Two sides. Got a shower. Got the attachment shower head up there. Skylight. Drain in the floor. Goes into the gray tank. Or no, black tank. Goes in the black tank. I don't know. Goes in one of the tanks anyway. All these sliding cabinets have pin locks in them. So that while you're driving down the road, they don't slide open. I don't know if you can see that, but that's pretty big storage space back in there. And then you got, of course, all these drawers. Plenty of storage. Back here into the master bedroom. You got a skylight above. Storage down there. Storage up above. That entire mirrored area. That's a complete closet going across the entire front. I already pinned it shut, but you have to take my word for it. Storage. There's a, That's a TV shelf right there. It's hard to see, but there's a 12 volt plug and an antenna jack right there. So you can plug your TV in. Skylight. Windows. The bed is a short queen instead of a full queen. So if you're a six plus footer like me, your feet will probably hang off the end a little bit. We put a full size queen mattress in there and it worked just fine. Other than that, that's pretty much it. What you see is what you get. If you have any questions, give me a call. Thanks.